Allora passo la parola a Henny Van Gill, contadina biologica, cuoca, membro del coordinamento europeo della via campesina, ma qui nel ruolo di portavoce un po' di tutte le reti internazionali che hanno preparato tutte insieme questo momento. Henny. Okay. Good morning to everyone and welcome here at the Expo di Popoli. I'm an organic farmer from the Netherlands and I represent the international movement of La Via Campesina, which is a federation of movements and its members are more than 200 million food producers all over the world. I'm happy to have the opportunity to welcome you all on behalf of all the international networks that work together in the International Facilitation Committee to support the creation of this Expo di Popoli. Why is it important for us all to be here at the Expo di Popoli in Milan? We are here because of the Expo Milan, the Universal Expo, that claims to know who feeds the people of the world. Actually, we all know that it's not Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Unilever that feed the world. Expo Milan is not a neutral event, as some would like us to believe. On the contrary, with the support of our governments, it's an event promoting industrialization and financialization of agriculture. It uses the image of traditional and ecological family farming to serve corporate business. They pretend that they will solve hunger and they will provide jobs, while we all know that there is still hunger and malnutrition all over the world, and many people live in poor conditions. We are here to let the world know that we feed the world. The Expo in Milan ignores small-scale food producers. We are responsible for feeding 70% of the world's population using 30% of the resources. Doing so, <laughs> doing so, we create employment, we cool down the earth, and we respect nature and workers in the process. A big movement is rising now of farmers reclaiming the land to produce for their communities. Young people go back to rural areas to produce food. Citizens connect with farmers. More and more people stand up for their food. They do so without being pushed by commercials or by governments. They follow a strong need, a feeling, a spirit, People want to be in control of their own food, and agroecology has become a strong tool to regain this autonomy. The presence here of many international networks and non-profit Italian organizations is very important. We thank everyone, the organizers, for giving us the opportunity to be all here. Wishing you all fruitful days to work together to strengthen existing alliances and to build new alliances and new friendships. Together we defend people's rights and dignities and we tell it to the world. Thank you.